What's up everyone? Nerdy Noob here and I have an unboxing video for you. I'm quite excited because this is one of my favorite snack boxes. In this video I'm going to be unboxing the 2015 October Japan Crate. I believe this is for October. Yes. October Japan Crate. This is for the premium box. I believe they do have um, multiple different purchasing options. If you're interested in this box I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details um, in the description below and let's get this box open. Once you cut the tape on this box and you open it up, ooh, premium. <laughs> uh, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, on the bottom of the box they wrote, we love you. Um, I believe this box gets shipped out from San Francisco, which is why it tends to get here fairly quickly. One of the reasons I love this box is because it has a very good variety of items and it also comes with this really fancy little booklet that um, not only tells you what items you have, but there's also like more information about the snacks and also if they give you DIY kits, there's usually some kind of instruction in here because a lot of them... They don't give you instructions, they just kind of throw you to the wolves. Maybe this one doesn't have any instructions though, because, oh no, they do, see? I'm assuming that's for a DIY kit. So, um, I like this box a lot. I don't remember how much I paid for it, I guess I could look. This box cost me $30 a month. I think it's free shipping in the US. I don't think it's worldwide shipping, but you know, for $30 and this is the premium box, that's not too bad. Um, but let's go ahead and get these items open and I'll show them to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the items and then I'll go back and, and try them out. That way, if you don't want to watch me eat them, you can just cancel out after you see what's in them. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the order of the different size crates. They kind of made it a little bit weird this month. But the first item, and we're going to start in the small crate, is the Umebu stick. I've got a lot of these. It's a basically a corn snack, a fried corn snack. See page 11 for more info. This month they thought that um, they would try something totally new, so they included the Guyatan flavor, um, which apparently means beef tongue. So this is beef tongue flavor. I've had pizza flavor, which was good. I've had burger flavored, which tasted like mustard. That was awful. And I think I've had like just regular corn flavored. Um, this is a little bit weird. They gave us three of these. That's quite a lot. I don't know if they meant to do that or if they accidentally did that. So the next item in the mini box is chocolate mini pancakes. These look like chocolate mini pancakes. Usually the snack dur duriyaki is filled with red bean, red bean paste I guess, but these ones are chocolate. All right, then we have soft candy. You either got rum, raisin, or strawberry soft candy. I think we got rum raisin. I would have much preferred strawberry, but that's okay. Darn. Rum raisin. What does it even mean? Uh, and then the last item in the mini crate is the Tohato Caramel Corn. I think I've gotten these before. Um, it's a corn snack that has caramel. It's The texture is more like Cheetos uh, than popcorn. And then it has a salty caramel flavor. It's like an Umebo stick. That's it. I think I, I just got these, and I think I was the same type, actually. All right, now we're going to move on to the original crate. So if you got the original crate, you're going to get these items plus the mini items that I just showed you. The first thing is the Chitto Soda DIY kit, and there's instructions. Basically, you, you mix the powder, the water, and it makes Ramune-flavored mochi. And if you look on the first page of this booklet, or the last page, I guess if you read backwards, then it has the instructions for you. All right, that's gonna go in my DIY kit box. Then we have grape gummy ribbon. These look like sour grape belts. Then we have rich cheese scones. Okay, I actually love these snacks. They're like, they're basically like crunchy Cheetos. Um, I had a barbecue ones one time, like Asian barbecue, and those were really good. These are cheese flavored buttery cheese flavored. I guess we'll see. I guess that is kind of like what a Cheeto is, minus the butter. Uh, the next thing from the original box is vitamin C lemon drops. Cool and refresh your mouth with these lemon drops. They're made with vitamin C, so I guess it's a good way to get vitamin C. Oh, I didn't like these actually. Next thing is poiful soda beans. I just got these in my Tokyo treat. There's cola, rum, mune, lemon, squash, Lemon squash and cider. Lemon squash was that like lemonade thing. These were cool. These just taste like regular jelly beans. I got excited the last time I had these because I thought they, 
I had some jelly beans one time that tasted like Skittles almost, like the consistency, but these ones are like regular. Okay, now we're onto the premium crate, which includes everything from the mini crate and the original crate, um, and all of these. Let's see, first thing is Beerly's Orange. So I guess it actually originated in California in the 1920s, but it's discontinued. Asahi, one of the Japan's largest drink manufacturers, um, began making these, and now they're only available in Japan. I think it's like orange soda. And now we have mysterious soda balls. We think there's a, oh, oh, I'm excited. So, they read my mind. We think these are similar in consistency to Skittles, but with a better taste. Enjoy seven flavors, pink lemonade, cider, grape, melon, lemon squash, and calpis. I don't know what cal, calpis, am I saying that wrong? Calpis? It's like I'm, it sounds like I'm saying calpis. I'm excited to try this. The next item that we have in the premium box are sour fruit gummies. Chewy, not too sour. There's grape, peach, apple, and orange. And then the last item in the premium crate is a little like toy thing. This is a dog, food dog gashapon. Basically it's little keychain things of dogs and food. This one is a, I don't know what kind of dog this is, a little dog on a chocolate waffle with whipped cream and strawberries. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try these items. If you don't wanna watch me eat them, then you should stop watching now. And if you do wanna watch me eat them, then let's go, let's do this. Um, all right, let's try one of these beef tongue umebo sticks. The one thing about these umebo sticks that's really nice is that they're usually pretty well seasoned. So if you like the seasoning, the flavor of the seasoning, it's great. If you don't like it, then it's not great. Here's our fried dough stick. Oh, it smells good. A little hint of tang. I don't know what beef tongue tastes like, but this tastes like, it has like a beef flavor, but it's tangy. It almost tastes like there's like lemon in this. It's really well seasoned. I can't wait till I get a new Mabo that has like, is the flavor that I love because this, I don't, you can't tell on this, it's like coated in seasoning, which is amazing. I wouldn't say that I love that because the little tang that it has to it is a little bit interesting. And I guess just the fact that I am picturing beef tongue is a little bit weird, but I ate the whole thing obviously. So I'm glad that they gave me three of these in this flavor rather than the hamburger flavor that tastes like mustard because that was terrible. All right, chocolate mini pancakes. There's two in here, but they're like little sandwiches. Like, it's like two pancakes, like an Oreo, kind of. Like, two pancakes as the cookie and then there's like chocolate frosting in the middle. These don't look the most appetizing. The chocolate is like really dark. It smells good though. Little pancakes are good. The frosting in the middle is weird. It's like gelatin. It's like if you put red bean paste in this, that's the texture that the chocolate is in this, which is a little bit strange because chocolate doesn't usually, it's not usually this texture. That's not bad though. Very, very dense, very filling. All right, the next item is the rum raisin soft candies. I really, really wish we would have gotten the strawberry flavored, but I'm gonna try these out. Um, these are chewy candies with a thin outer shell that are packed full of flavor. These look like gum. I didn't like that. I know it has a picture of ice cream in it. They were very creamy, but I just didn't like that flavor. Um, the hot hot to caramel corn. I'm actually not gonna try this because this looks very similar to the one that I just opened in my Tokyo treat or my Scotch box. I don't remember. So. They basically are like Cheeto, but sweet. Um, all right, I'm not doing the DIY kit. <clears throat> the grape gummy ribbon, that's this. Oh, these are individually wrapped, that's so nice. So I made a comment earlier that they were like the sour, like the sour belts, they're not. These don't have any sour powder on them, let's take a look. Oh, it smells like Asian grape. It's got a very weird texture, it's like, Softer than the normal belts that they sell here in America. It looks like like cooked noodles. It has good flavor, but the consistency is a little bit weird. The consistency actually tastes like noodles, like spaghetti noodles. It's a little bit strange. It's a little bit gummy. I like Asian grape, so I like the flavor of it. It's just the texture is a little bit weird. All right, let's try these uh, rich cheese scone flavored Japanese Cheetos. These kind of smell like Cheetos. They're very seasoned. Oh, 
Oh yeah, these taste like sweeter Cheetos, like original Cheetos. It could be also be that I still have some of that grape stuff in my mouth. Hold on. All right, let's see. Yeah, sweeter versions of regular Cheetos. I thought I wasn't gonna like this because recently I've been getting a lot of like Asian cheese snacks, and usually their cheese tastes like like real cheese, not like the artificial cheese that I'm used to with my Cheetos snacks here in America. But those are good. I really like that brand. I actually found a Japanese store and I went and bought like a ton of their snacks in that brand because I really enjoy their snacks. All right, um, now we have the vitamin C lemon drops. These two are individually wrapped in this foily paper. Yellow hard candy. Whoa, these are basically, they taste like cough drops. Not terrible, but it does remind me of like the medicine-y cough drop flavor. All right, I'm not gonna try the Poiful jelly beans because I've already had these onto the premium box. I'm actually not gonna open the orange soda because I don't wanna waste it. I'm really excited to try it, but it's, you know, 10 o'clock at night and I, I already drank a can of soda today, so I'm gonna try that for another time and save it for another time. Okay, Mysteri- Well, could you tell how excited I was? Mysterious soda balls, let's do this. I'm so excited for this one. I don't know that I, why they called them mysterious. I mean, if I knew Japanese, I feel like they show you what the flavors are on here. So, pink lemonade, cider, grape, melon, lemon squash, and calpis. Calpis? Can, does anybody know what that is? It, they spelt it C-A-L-P-I-S. Because when I say it, I know it sounds like I'm saying calpis, but I'm saying calpis. Calpis? You know what? Forget that. I'm going to look it up. Calpis is a Japanese uncarbonated soft drink. Oh, it's somewhat milky. Oh, I don't want I don't want the Calpis one. I just like saying that. Let's see if I can even pull out seven colors from here so we can try to decipher. Whoop! The blue ball fell. So there's blue, this like purplish color, pink, white, yellow, brown, and then there's green. I got a lot of the uh, blue ones. I got a lot of blue balls. It says enjoy seven flavors, but then they only list six. I'm gonna try one that I think I know the flavor because I'm worried I'm gonna get the cow piss one and I don't want that. Okay, let's try the pink one. I think it's pink lemonade. I don't know why they call them mysterious soda balls. Is this not pink lemonade? This doesn't have the consistency of a Skittle. This tastes like, like Japanese gum. That wasn't pink lemonade. I don't think it was. Maybe. I'm gonna try the green one, which I think is melon. Are these mysterious because they come in different ones or something? Well, maybe that's what it is, is that the colors, it doesn't matter what the color is, it just has flavors. I don't like these. This tastes like bubble gum. I don't know. These don't, I don't, has, has anyone had the Japanese jelly beans and they taste like Skittles, like literally Skittles, like they're that chewy? These ones taste like gum. Okay, this, I just had this near my bed because I love these. It does not come in this box, but this is what I'm talking about. These are, this is one of the packs of jelly beans that I got. When you pulled out the, the solid color ones, the cleared ones taste like jelly beans, but these ones, yeah. Mm. That's what a Skittle consistency is like. These ones just taste like gum. I don't like those. All right, the last item that we're gonna try tonight is sour gummy candies. I'm usually not a huge fan of the, the gummy candies, purple one for grape. These don't smell like your normal Asian gummy. It's like, usually they reek of permanent marker smell. These don't smell like that. Oh, tastes like Asian grape. A little bit sour. It's a very dense gummy, which I like. Almost like a gummy bear. Mm. Okay, I like these. I'm gonna try an orange one. Oh yeah, I like that. All right, and again, you had your booklet with all your items. And there's a little like section in here. It's like a comic strip. There's a, a couple pages of that. At one point, it talks about the Segoy crate, which comes with like an Xbox One and like a backpack and some other things. So I guess each month somebody wins that. I've never heard of anybody winning that, but maybe I need to take pictures and get in their magazine. So this was your 2015 October Japan crate. Um, 
Not a bad box. Not the best Japan crate that I received. I remember really liking my first one, but this is a good box. Um, it's $30. I don't I don't do comparisons on prices with this one because I honestly have no idea how much each of these costs, but um, I like the variety of items. I wish that they had more snack food items because really they only had like two, the umebos and the cheese Cheeto things. Um, so, you know, I, I would have preferred more savory items. They had a lot of very similar items with like the mystery balls and the, the soda things and the soda jelly beans and then you had like a lot of different gummies so it was kind of a lot of the like same types of things. I wish they would have had a little bit better variety. So if I had to rate this box I'd probably give it I'd probably give this box like a 3. Point, a 3.75. I think it's a little bit above a 3.5 but it's not a 4. They would have hit a 4 if they had just more variety I, think, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Alright thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, you should check out my channel. And you should subscribe if you'd like. Um, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this box. I think there's some of you guys that watch all of my food boxes. So, you know, for $30, good, bad. There's quite a bit of items in this, and it was quite heavy. So, you know, a good amount of items and good weight to it. So, yeah, let me know what you thought about it. And, uh, yeah. I guess this is time for my thank you to subscribers page. If you subscribe to me and you're not... Uh, if you subscribe to me and you don't have your subscriptions private, then you'll get onto my thank you to subscribers page. And this is my last page, so I definitely need some more people to subscribe. So definitely go on there and subscribe. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. Talk to you guys later. Bye!